Hello friends, this video on Organic Chemistry Basics Part 48 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Let's understand a way to estimate nitrogen by Dumas method. Actually, this is used to estimate the purity of milk also because the protein is made of nitrogen and we uh, generally use this method to find how much pure milk is. So this is one way Dumas method. In fact, there are two methods. I'll discuss the other method also. This is a method to find or determine the composition or estimate the composition of nitrogen. So the nitrogen containing organic compound, if there is a nitrogen in an organic compound, when you heat with copper oxide, right, in the presence of carbon dioxide, this gives you free nitrogen. In fact, this is carbon monoxide actually. So it, it gives you free nitrogen plus carbon dioxide and water. So what we do in this case, so in this case what we do, we use this kind of, and this is how nitrogen looks, we use this kind of apparatus. So what we do here is, here if you see this, this is the hole is a furnace, right, and this one is my copper oxide, this is what is required here, right, and here I add organic compound also. And from here I pass CO2 because this is required, right? Carbon, carbon monoxide actually. So in, because the oxygen is less here, it becomes carbon monoxide actually. So this is required. I have my CuO here and also I have my organic compound here. Correct? And this is a furnace, it's very, very hot. So with this, what happened is here this is a mercury seal actually, right? And this is my KOH solution. Why this? Because this will absorb carbon dioxide. So in this you, you have what? So here what you get is carbon dioxide and nitrogen. Correct. So now you, you pass this guy here. So this guy, all this, uh, what do you call, carbon dioxide is absorbed by this KOH solution and what you get here is nitrogen gas. Correct. And this nitrogen gas will now be used to determine the percentage of nitrogen in the organic compound. Correct. Hope you understand. So you have an organic compound. You are heating this very hard actually in presence of CuO and CO2 actually. Right. So you heat in the presence of CO and CO2. So what you get is carbon dioxide gas and then water and the nitrogen gas and CO. So you here you have water also. So water will mix with KOH actually. And what you get here is nitrogen gas, correct? And then we'll analyze the percentage of nitrogen in the organic compound, correct? As I told, nitrogen is collected in the upper part of this tube. So let's understand the reaction. So let's assume the mass of organic compound is m gram. So this is my m gram. And let the volume of nitrogen collected at room temperature, please note this, everything is happening at room temperature, right? Room temperature. So let assume that the volume of nitrogen collected at room temperature where P1 is my room temperature and pressure is P1. Let this be V1, right? So if this is my nitrogen where I have V1 is the nitrogen volume at T1 temperature and P1 pressure, correct? So first I have to calculate the volume of nitrogen at STP. So you've seen in all the reactions we do, what we do is we generally convert all the volumes in STP. So you convert this volume in STP, correct? So in earlier example, we had mass, grams, right? So those things doesn't value, uh, doesn't vary on temperature, but volume vary. So we have to first convert the volume to STP. So we will do that. We'll convert this volume to STP. STP is what? 273 Kelvin and 760 mm pressure. Correct. And let's assume that volume is V. This V is my STP volume. Please note my the volume which we calculated was V1 and that was why at normal room temperature and pressure. Now I'm talking about STP volume and let that be V. So if you use the formula P1 V1 by T2 uh, V2 is equal to P2 or let this be P V by T. Right? These are all STP. So you put the values. I have P1, V1, T1, this P is nothing but 273, it's 273 V and this T is what, 
सॉरी दिस पी इज सेवन सिक्सटी एंड दिस टी इज टू सेवेंटी थ्री दिस इज एयर पी वन बी वन टी वन सो इफ यू इक्वेट दिस यू गेट बी वन एज नथिंग बाई टू सेवेंटी थ्री पी वन बी वन टी वन बाई सेवन सिक्सटी राइट दिस इज वॉट यू गेट यू कैन सॉल्व दिस यू गेट द सेम थिंग करेक्ट सो आई गॉट द वॉल्यूम ऑफ नाइट्रोजन एट एस टी बी दिस इज क्रिटिकल हेयर करेक्ट नाउ आई नो दैट वॉल्यूम ऑफ नाइट्रोजन एंड एस टी पी वेज दिस मच ग्राम दिस इज वॉट आई नो इफ यू कन्वर्ट द इफ यू सी द डेंसिटी ऑफ नाइट्रोजन देन दिस इज वॉट द रिलेशन वी हैव राइट सो एट एस टी पी वी वॉल्यूम ऑफ नाइट्रोजन विल बे दिस मच ग्राम राइट सो दिस इज नथिंग बट इफ यू सी इफ यू मल्टीप्लाई वी विद दिस दिस इज वॉट यू गेट द वॉल्यूम राइट सो परसेंटेज नाइट्रोजन इज वॉट दिस वैल्यू बाय एम इन टू हंड्रेड Right. So what I have done here? First, I found the volume at normal temperature and pressure. I got the volume at STP, and then I know that two two four zero actually, uh, I mean, milliliter is twenty eight gram. That's the relation I think. Yeah, right. Two two four zero centimeter cube of nitrogen at STP is twenty eight gram. This is the experimental value, and thus, if you see, V volume will be. 28 into 2 uh, into v by 2 to 4 gram. This is the in. This is weight, right? This is volume. This is mass. So this is what I got. So I know that I have got this much gram of nitrogen in this particular compound. If you want to find the percentage, very easy. This much gram of nitrogen divided by whole mass into 100. So you'll get this is the percentage of nitrogen. Correct. There are some advantage and disadvantage for the Dumas method. The advantage is it's easy to use and it's automated, very easy to use. It's very fast. If you consider with the uh, this method, the Lal method, we'll we'll discuss this in the next uh, few slide. It is fast, right? Because these guys take hours and this happens only minutes. It doesn't use any toxic chemicals as catalyst. We will discuss that this, in this method, right? Zeldal method you use catalyst that is toxic, but there are some disadvantage of Dumas method too. The initial cost is very high. The whole setup is very costly, and since we take a very small size sample, that means there is a high chance that the small size sample is not correct sample. Correct. The bigger the sample you take, the better is the experiment. Let's take one numerical on this Dumas method. So. It says that in a Dumas method for estimation of nitrogen, 0.3 gram of nitrogen gave 50 mL of nitrogen. So I have my organic compound. And from this I got nitrogen. And this was 0.3 gram, and this gave me 50 mL at 300 Kelvin, and 715 mm pressure and we are the we have to find the composition of nitrogen and we are told that aqueous tension is 15 mm right so that means aqueous tension is 15 mm so that means this pressure is not the actual pressure right so that means i am talking about 715 minus 15 mm it is 700 mm because this 715 i am getting this includes the aqueous tension correct so the actual pressure i am talking about is 700 mm so let's find the volume of nitrogen at stp let me what two or let's use the formula p1 v1 by t1 is equal to p2 v2 by t2 right so let let assume that this is this is my stp so we will be what p2 that is this guy is 700 Right into V two. What is the volume? Fifty by T two. What is the temperature? Three hundred Kelvin. Into this guy will become T one. T one. So what is the T one at STP? At STP, my temperature is two seventy three Kelvin. And by P one at STP, my pressure is seven sixty mm. So this will be my volume of nitrogen at STP. 
very easy just use p1 v1 by t1 is equal to p2 v2 by t2 any side you can take stp other side is a room temperature so with that you'll get the volume of nitrogen at st if you solve this you get comes out to be 41.9 ml please note this should almost be same to this so this 50 this is 41.9 this should not vary much because normally when you change temperature and pressure the volume varies but not that much so it is for 41.9 ml correct so directly you can use the formula percentage of nitrogen is something about 28 by 22440 into volume that is 41.9 ml in, in, in this is the mass of organic compound in 200 right this formula we have used you put the values you get the answer as 17.42 percent easy one so the only catch here is you find the volume of nitrogen convert into stp and then use the thank you visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos try free online tests get the best quality study materials study from the best tutors and mentors and much more thanks once again